you're looking at PI3K status, a particular type of that in circulating tumour from circulating tumour DNA. What were you doing in this study of an anti-PI3K agent? What, what, what were you trying to investigate here? One of the mechanisms of resistance in endocrine um, treatment is uh, mediated by the activation of this uh, pathway, pi 2 kinase akatm tor and the idea of this clinical trial, the objective of the clinical trial is to reverse resistance to endocrine treatment in, when you use a pi 2 kinase inhibitor combined with endocrine treatment. Right, so this drug, buparlicib, what does it do exactly and what is it? It is a specific is a pan um, inhibitor of the, of the pi 2 kinase uh, protein. And what did you do in the study? In this study, you have the randomized phase three study. We compare the combination of fluvestone plus this inhibitor of the pietro kinase inhibitor to fluvestone plus placebo. And this is in which patients? In the patient who is considering a resistance with endocrine treatment, all patients receive anti inhibitor. First, when progress, the patient entry to the study. And how many patients did you look at altogether, and, and what did you find? It's a, it's a, the number of patients is very important in, in this first three. The primary endpoint is the PFS for the full population. The second, end, the, the, the primary end, the second primary endpoint, but it is the same endpoint, is just in patients with have activation of this pathway. And you have um, exploratory PFS in the selected patient. Uh, we are a PI track mutation detected by liquid biopsy. So you were monitoring what was happening by yes. using a different form of sampling, the liquid Yes, biopsy. exactly. For the, um, for the patient with the activation of the pathway, as it is in the primary tumour, you have to take um, uh, archival tumour, primary tumour. And for the liquid biopsy, is uh, just before to start the treatment, you take a blood sample to detect the free uh, cDNA of the tumour. Now, this was with patients who had inoperative or locally advanced breast cancer or ER positive. Yeah, uh, all patients are ER or PR positive, R2 negative, with local or metastatic setting, uh, exposed to prior endocrine treatment. This prior endocrine treatment is an anti inhibitor. Some of patients receive just one line of chemotherapy agent, but not all the patients receive a PA trachinase AKT mTOR inhibitor or fluvestrol. Now, it's a phase three study. What was the total number of patients? 42, I think. Right, so what did you find? What, what's the finding? This clinical trial meets the primary endpoint. In the full population, you have the benefits to combine um, the pietroacanase inhibitor to the fluvestron comparing to fluvestron plus placebo uh, with 22% um, with, um, reduction of risk of progression. In population, we have Activation of this PI2KNS pathway, there is no difference, statistical difference between the two harm. But I think the most important in the exploratory PFS, you have a large uh, benefit. We combine fluvestone plus PI2KNS inhibitor comparing to the placebo harm with a reduction of 44 uh, risk of progression with a combination harm comparing to the placebo harm. So if you see the biomarker in the circulating DNA, yes, exactly. then it's an indication that your drug buparlicib will work and resensitize or sensitize full vessel. It's a resensitized full vessel because when you have this mutation, you are resistant to the endocrine treatment, you are resistant to full vestron, and when you give the drug, you reverse this resistance. It's what, very, very important. It's what could this mean for doctors? I think for the, for, to select patients who have to combine treatment. If you have this mutation, it's probably fluvestron and not active. It probably is, is you can with, to select some mutation. It's the same for SR1. It's the one, one other mutation we implicate in the mechanism of resistance on the current treatment. And probably you select the drug to combine to the endocrine treatment. How near to prime time is the use of this agent? In breast cancer, yes. It sees the first in class, we demonstrate the activity. So what do you recommend doctors to be thinking about this study finding now? The problem is the balance between toxicity and efficacy. Um, if, you, um, if you look attentively the, in terms of toxicity, it's very difficult to give the, the drug. But I think the next step is to develop another pay inhibitor with less toxicity 
uh, to come forward this first result. And so what are the toxicities with this agent? You have a specific class toxicity, uh, hyperglycemia rush, rush, sorry, and uh, um, you have specific toxicity to the drug. It's a mold disorder and uh, increased liver, liver the enzyme of uh, hepatic lung enzyme. So how uh, optimistic should doctors be about overcoming yes. resistance yeah. to endocrine yeah. therapy? Exactly. I think for the next future in metastatic setting, you never use endocrine treatment just in monotherapy. It is a, the third clinical trial we demonstrate we do have to combine endocrine treatment with other target therapy to reverse resistance. The first is the BOLIRO2, when you combine examestan plus Evalimus in patients protected with non-steroid antiromatase. You have Polamatui, which you combine Fulvestron plus Palbociclibs inhibitor of CDK in patients resistant to endocrine treatment. And this BEL2, we demonstrate in patients are selected to resistant to antiromatase inhibitor. If you give Fulvestron in selected population, patients with pietro mutation, you have to give another drug. One possibility is to give the pietro inhibitor. Now, in which category of patients with breast cancer? Because surely you don't have to have combinations for all. No, it's just patients with a, um, um, ER or PR positive breast cancer, R2 negative. And so the, the, the brief take-home message for doctors is what? Yes, it's, what you, it's now the new area when to, to reverse resistance to, to endocrine treatment, you have some target therapy uh, to addict uh, to this endocrine treatment to reverse resistance.